Welcome to the WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast, all about the what of fused filament fabrication. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to WTFFF. I'm Tom Hazard. And I'm Tracy Hazard. It's been a while. It has been a while. You know, we decided we should record an episode to sort of cap off our WTFFF episodes that we've been recording since 2015 and we recorded what 560 or 80 episodes our counter says 585 so i was kind of surprised at that but so somewhere in there there might be duplicates or some odd thing but you know anyway, i thought it was 565 personally it's well well over 500 for sure and you know we we really stopped recording in early 2019 um we ended up having other priorities in reality, you know, in business. And we also, you know, the desktop 3D printing industry had really reached a level of maturity that we were finding it harder and harder to find new stories, right? Yeah, we felt like we were talking about the same things again and again, and we weren't committed to doing new projects and new 3D prints and things like that because it wasn't a part of our core business any longer. Um, and then last year, we also shut down our, our design business to fully concentrate on our podcasting business, which is what we're working on, which we're working on now. So for those of you who don't know, it's called Poditize, and, um, and we've been working on that for four, since we started this podcast, obviously. So we have all of you listeners to thank for giving us so much feedback and so much success tips that people begged us to do it for them. So that's what we're doing now. Um, and I don't, I, you know, in a way I don't miss it because now it makes the design part when we do do it, it's a lot more fun. Yeah. We're still 3d printing every day. Our 3d printers are running in our office. It's just, yeah. a we're part usually 3d printing mic blocks, which we have an episode on, right? So, right. Yeah. yeah. These, these mic flags that you can, you know, change your, uh, logos out on and, you know, brand your videos with, and we're 3d printing, um, you know, other things that we just use in our daily business so we don't have to injection mold them and and so it's really a small production run uh 3d printing and you know i'm surprised actually the printer's not running right now yeah i was like it's not it's not but, making noise right now but it's been running all day right until we recorded this but anyway and, so and the other thing is for first time in a really long time we're actually making our own product we've designed a new microphone which is actually what we're using here we're using the prototype and so we designed a new microphone that's going to come out on the market. So we're, you know, it, that feels so energizing to be doing something that's just really completely for us and not being that ghost designer behind the scenes anymore. Yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. I, I like that we're designing for us more than for others. But, you know, we, we just thought it was a good idea to really create this little episode to wrap up the big series of WTFFF. But there's actually more. I know. I'm so excited about this. So uh, late last year, um, Hewlett Packard came to us and said, hey, we'd like to work on it in collaboration with you and do a series together. So we've been working on it for months and I'm I'm like, I've been working on it predominantly in terms of the planning and all the interview scheduling and getting everything prepped in it. And we've been recording now for about, I don't know, a month or so. At least. Yeah. And we just, I mean, I'm learning so many new things that I getting excited about 3D printing again. And we're sort of thinking of like, will we, will we restart a business in 3D printing someday soon? Well, I don't know. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But I know that 3D printing is certainly a part of our lives and our businesses going forward in one way or another. I really don't see that changing, Tracy. I don't either. And the 3D design process and the, the things that we know about um, design management and uh, process flow and uh, 3D end-to-end, -end, like trying to do it on both sides with digital manufacturing, like those things aren't going to change. I mean, we you know, when we hear all the things in the marketplace about people are like, oh, wow, I could just, when my supply chain shuts down, I could just start digital manufacturing. Yeah, we kind of knew that. And all of you out there are going, yeah, we already knew that. That's why we were able to get up and running so quickly, right? So, you know, but that's, I think, where, where I'm sitting back thinking, yeah, we keep using all the things that we learned all, all throughout the years, but some of the impact of what we've learned from these episodes and from the various people that we have to tap into to call to get things done or to find out things, that, that's, I'm so 
I'm so grateful to all of that and grateful to all of you listeners out there um, for, for sticking with us and for you new listeners who just found us and are going through it. So I can't wait to bring you this bonus series. It's going to be 25 episodes. And uh, do you want to give them some sneak hints about the kinds of the things we're going to talk about? Well, you know what? It's, it's 25 episodes with all new interviews with new people that have never been on WTFFF before. Most of them don't do anything that's not private webinars and public anyway, so they don't actually talk to the public that often. And really, there are a lot of things in and around um, HP's technology with their multi-jet fusion 3D printers. It's not limited to that by any means, but certainly that technology and and one of the things hp has done is they're fostering a lot more development for the entire 3d print industry and community so it's not just all about hp that's one of the things i'm really excited and impressed about uh, but there's there's a whole lot to discover there's new things about software uh for you know creating cad and designing things about the education and process right. right so we've got you know it's it's segmented into create and educate and um, manufacture and build and so we've got a lot of those things and there's lots of themes and trends and industry ecosystem uh, things that they're working on i can't wait for you guys to hear it so Absolutely. hang on you know, up your subscription, make sure that you're getting it pushed through to your device so that you don't miss out when it comes. It will be within a couple of weeks of this airing. You're going to probably start seeing the first of the series coming through. Now, I just want to mention before uh, is that it's also going to be se uh, the separate section on our website. So you'll be able to like go there, find it, find out information. So it's a 3d startpoint.com forward slash HP. Super simple. And, you know, if you've been listening and or binging through WTFF episodes fairly recently, meaning you're a relatively new listener and you've been going through them, you know that there was a volume one of the earliest episodes. So this recording right now is the end of volume two. No, it's the end of volume three. Volume three? We, we broke them up into, oh. well, we broke them up into a couple hundred, so they were a little more okay. manageable. It made okay. more sense than this weird number into, All right. yeah. So volume one, two, and three, but now the original WTFFF 3D printing podcast, if you're a longtime subscriber of that, you're going to automatically see and get when the new ones start publishing. But if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you go look that one up on your favorite podcast app and subscribe and then you'll get them all yeah we were getting a few people who are commenting that they weren't able to see some of those earlier episodes they wanted to reference various projects or things that we worked on and because sometimes we reference them really later in the show like we did this episode and the only place you could find it was a blog so it wasn't as convenient for you to listen to when you're mobile so that's why we've created the volumes for you so you'll volume one two three and now the new special series sponsored by hp and z by h3 I can't wait for it. I'm excited. Me too. Well, hey, thanks again for being a, a listener of WTFFF. As Tracy said, we really do appreciate it. And we're looking forward to what the future holds. This new series with HP may be a model for how we may do things in the future. But 25 episodes, that's certainly a great body of content to really dig deeper into where 3D printing is today. So thanks so much for being listeners. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you in the new series. Thank <laughs> you.